So UK TikTok is on fire at the moment and it's not in a good way. In fact, we should probably try and put it out because uh, it's going a bit too far. And there are two prime perpetrators in this, CLA and Alphabet. I've always thought by default that Alphabet was worse, but as you're gonna see in this video, well, I think CLA puts up a serious case for being worse. All this fucking hardware. And both Alphabet and CLA, they have a past. And it's now spilling back over into the present. And honestly, this is so messy. They say history is written by the winners, but I can't see a winner here. I think both of these people might just lose. Neither of them have anything to gain anymore, but they also have nothing to lose. Because to be honest, they might be at rock bottom, but I'll let you decide that one for yourself. As we covered in the last video on Alphabet, there's a bit of a TikTok battle going on at the moment. Both CLA and Alphabet are competing in it and CLA was not happy about her performance in this competition. You get me to fucking America right now as I'm going. I'm fucking going! For the uninitiated, the TikTok battle is basically to get as many gifts as possible. And the winner, they get a paid for trip to some TikTok convention in America. And basically, this is like throwing a bit of meat into a cage full of lions. Everybody is just going for each other's throats. There is no holds barred anymore. And the two alphas here are CLA and Alpha Bar, and they have just gone to new lows in order to get this prize. Ronnie, thank you. But we don't want roses because roses are useless, darling. We need big boy gifts, darling. So let's be real, sweetheart. And to cut a long story short, these two have now turned on each other and they are just scrapping it out. Their beef gets so messy, but we're going to get to that in a little bit. First, it's probably important to establish who CLA is, because Alphabet gets all the attention on YouTube. CLA hasn't had many videos, and because of that, you might not actually know who she is. In my opinion, Alphabet and CLA both hate each other, because they are like mirrors. They probably both see themselves in the other, and if that was me, I would hate nothing more. But yeah, they both have very similar traits. For example, they both love blaming their audiences for anything that goes wrong in their lives. I don't give a fuck, sweetheart. I'll, I'll be like, to the benefits. I don't have TikTok no more. I've deleted everything. I don't have a job. I don't have nothing. Thanks for fucking up my life. You see, she blames the viewers, but they are the only people that make her smile. This is another important point about CLA. She just, in general, hates to smile. And anytime her viewers try to, like, buy her some smile gift or something, as you can probably tell, I'm not in sync with the mechanics of TikTok Live. But yeah, anytime someone buys this gift, she is not happy about it. Claire, don't send me that gift again. Anyone that sends me that smiling face, I'm gonna block you. As a TikTok live star, you would presume that she would do anything for gifts, but fundamentally she has drawn the line at smiling. She will give up her income so she doesn't smile and remains miserable. That level of hater I can only aspire to be, that is actually respectable. And luckily for her, this is TikTok live, so the people watching and gifting will respect your wishes. If someone makes her smile one more time, I'm actually afraid of what might happen. For everybody else's sake, we should probably avoid that. So if you're one of the people like gifting these smiles, well, you might have blood in your hands soon. I mean, this all does sound so absurd to say, but we'll roll with it. This is TikTok Live and nothing is off the cards apparently. And as with anyone like this, I kind of had a suspicion that she was just playing up to the camera, but I found clips on TikTok where she's not even streaming herself, which is rare, but it does happen. And she is still the exact same Say persona. Yeah, what is the point in having a social media presence if you don't use it to threaten bar stuff? I mean, me personally, I know as soon as I hit 3k subs, I am going to go to my local establishment and threaten every single member of staff. So if you want to help create a narcissistic egotist and uh, drop a sub, they all help. We are a small channel and just to clarify, I'm not going to go do a CLA. But yeah, her wrath is not limited to bar staff. She is seemingly angry at everyone. Don't just leave me Leave me alone! 
So yeah, again, she is seemingly angry at her TikTok live viewers 100% of the time. And I mean, if you exist to kind of be poked fun at, well, it is gonna happen really, isn't it? And you would think if it was making you so irate that you would just put the camera down. And the fact that she doesn't, of course, does show that this is an act for money. But obviously, as of anything, there's only so many times you can troll someone in chat by just typing. It's kind of like a fundamental principle of TikTok. Things do escalate over time. And the results of this principle, they're not pretty. No one has ordered nothing. Leave me alone because I'm live on TikTok and everyone can hear you. Otherwise, I'll put the camera in your face and come downstairs. Leave me alone! So I guess at some point her address got leaked and obviously knowing this, people sent deliveries to her house and obviously and naturally she was not happy about this. And unfortunately the clueless driver got the brunt of her anger. What is your problem? I have not ordered no pizza, I'm famous. Don't f***ing bring anything to my house. Yeah, bro is probably stood there like, what is going on? My man is literally just trying to deliver a pizza. He probably has no idea what TikTok Live even is. I mean, if you yourself have ever worked like a retail or a service industry job, you're gonna know the entitlement of people. And to be honest, I think the line, I'm famous, is about as entitled as it gets. And granted, I would be pissed off too if people were kind of coming to my house, but probably don't take it out on the driver. The guy is just a guy. And to be honest, this does raise an important point. At what point do you take responsibility responsibility for this type of stuff happening. To me, if you kick a beehive and a bee stings you, well, it's in its nature to do that. It's also in the nature of TikTok live viewers to do this. If you're live streaming and they have a way to fuck with you, they're gonna do it. It doesn't make it right, of course, but at some point you gotta realize that this is gonna happen unless you turn your phone off. Let me know what you think, comment down below, cause uh, it's a bit of a weird issue. But yeah, admittedly, there is more to CLA than just raging at members of the public. Let's look at some of our conversations on TikTok live because hopefully we'll be able to see the lighter side of her. Italian? Oh, do I sound Italian? MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, Abibi. Yeah, this is about the level. I mean, I don't think that's Italian, but I'll give you one more chance, you know, I'll roll with it. <sighs> Nostrils. Nostrils. Come on, baby. Nostrils. Yeah, this is like genuinely how I reckon the first two cavemen spoke to each other. I mean, it is actually unintelligible. I came here trying to work out if CLA was misunderstood. And how to be honest, I'm just a little bit more confused. <laughs> Why don't you turn the smoother off, you bitch? Turn it off like me, look. No smoother. Yeah, you've probably got the teeth whitener on full blast and the smoother on. I know you're old. Okay, so maybe the fact that she just unprovoked went for him. That might explain her character a little bit more. I was looking for a bit of light to be shared and I think it has been there. I mean, to be honest, I'm just so confused as to what provoked that. It did just come out of nowhere. I think the only way left to kind of assess CLA is to like juxtapose her against Elphaba. These two have a massive history. And as I said, it is spilling over now. To bring you up to date, in the recent past, Elphaba went to CLA's house in London. I guess the intention was to make some content, but things very quickly spiralled into a mess. Oh, Chelsea, are you all right? You're back, this, that, da, 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 da. Don't even clean up, there's messes up the place. Ah, uh, no, that's a lie. I've cleaned up in the kitchen. Listen, if I know Alpha Bar, I know she's very hygienic and very clean. And granted, you know, there are countless clips of her house looking like a tip. I mean, there's TikToks of fleas jumping all over her. She has got scabies, which by the way, I did find out you can get rid of with one round of cream. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she just isn't very hygienic. And fair enough, if you're doing it in your own house and not affecting anyone else, fair play. I mean, I wouldn't put it on TikTok, but it is your prerogative. But the problem does emerge when you're doing it in somebody else's house. So on this one, I kind of need to side a CLA. No, I'm not having it. I have not, not shat in your right toilet. Right You're the... You will go to a public toilet and do it. Cross the road. Do not talk to me like that. Yeah, this is actually disgusting. Why would you stream this? I mean, I do get why, but why? I understand that these people only want attention and don't care about anything else, but there has got to be a point where you kind of introspect and realise this is probably the worst way to live your life. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This information being public, well, it benefits absolutely zero people people. There are not many absolutes in life, but the world would absolutely be a better place if this information was kept off the internet. I cleaned up in your kitchen. I made you a cup of tea. I, I, you are fucked. 
oh, okay, oh well, but at least it was a kind gesture. Yeah. I mean, there is something hilarious about trashing someone's house and then saying that making a cup of tea is a kind gesture. But honestly, by this point, I think these two might deserve each other. Anyway, this situation then did take a turn and the outcome is not good. <laughs> yeah, we need to keep watch, watch you think. Just get my bags on. Yes, we've got to, we've got to keep filming. Shepherd's bush, darling. I think the morality of kicking someone out of your house at half two in the morning in the middle of London, regardless of the circumstances, it's a bit dubious. Yeah, ever since this point, these two have hated each other. And I can understand absolutely why, considering all of the context. But they've each done a number of lives kind of talking about each other. And the anecdotes they give, they just get continuously worse. You know, like, because that's fair, like, pay for your own food and pay for, you know. So we went to the place. Um, she said she was famous to the bartenders, said she was famous to all the other people and just shouted roots, um, said she was famous everywhere. And people just look at her like, we just want to eat our food. So Alpha Bar from everything we know about her, she is a compulsive liar. But the detail of CLA saying that she's famous, well that 100% makes me think that this story is authentic. Cause from the clips we've seen, and from the clips we're about to see, she spouts off that she is famous to about anyone that will listen. And then I felt embarrassed, I'm not gonna lie to you, I felt really fucking embarrassed. Cause I, that's something I wouldn't do. Like I'm just like, I'm just gonna sit and eat my food, you know what I mean? I won't just like say I'm famous like that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, if your actions are making Elphaba embarrassed, somebody who we have established has no shame, well, you might be the problem. Like, stuff like this does make me think that CLA might be worse. Again, I wanna know what you think, cause I really can't, like, pin it down. But at this point in the video, I feel like CLA, she might actually be worse. Do you understand what she's done to a lot of you guys? Like, you can say that she's perfect and all, but, like, she treats you abs like absolute shit. Mm. She's gonna self-destruct herself online. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, the irony of Elphaba saying stuff like this is not lost on me. To be honest, I think they might just be the two worst people in the world. She's she's dying out. She's got an expiry date now. Like, people are getting bored of watching her. She's repetitive. Like, ooh, it's really repetitive. But like, imagine me, like, 19 years. She's older than me as well, so she's kind of dying out anyway. So yeah, she then does say that she's dying out, and I guess she is like double Elphaba's age. I assumed it was a metaphor or something, but it might actually be literal. Because in the days following this, CLA appeared in hospital, and this CLA hospital situation is just so unbelievably messy. Well, I'm, I'm waiting because they brought me in. I was at home and you've brought me in to hospital, sweetheart, and you've just shoved me in a corner and I've got chest pains, I've got de de and you've not called my name. This girl's just come in and you've called her name straight away. So yeah, she was taken to hospital, she was in A&E, and if you've ever been to A&E, you're gonna know that it's not fun. But she's recording herself, cause of course she is. And the fact that she is recording herself very quickly does become a problem. Cause I'll just go home, cause I'm in the public eye as well. I'm a famous TikToker and I've got, I was in the comfort of my own home. The then is they've called me an infection in my tooth, which I think has spread. Are you recording us? So it's actually no. illegal to record in I'm not weak. I'm not recording. I've got the camera on myself. Look. Okay. I'm not recording, I'm just recording. I love at the start how she said she was famous, as if that would count for anything. Guys, we have a TikTok star in hospital, can we please get her to the front of the line? There is genuinely an intrinsic problem with TikTok fame, where these people have such self-inflated egos. And I think it is due to the fact that TikTok Live makes the worst type of people famous. But yeah, as soon as one of the workers realised that she was indeed filming, the situation very quickly spiralled. You can't record down here, I'm not really recording I'm, I'm just live i'm talking on my thing i'm working it's my job darling no one's recording you i'm working on tiktok i'm a big tiktoker at roots i'm here i'm gonna go then yeah forget it like she says that as if it's a privilege for them to be around her. I'm gonna go kind of infers that if she left, it would be a bad thing. I think these people might just be trying to do their jobs. If you're recording people in A&E, that might directly impede that. This is 100% a problem of ego. And I mean, I do feel sorry for her because clearly she is completely lost in this. But to be honest, I feel more sorry for the staff because this is a nightmare. Can I go into a private room or something? We can try and get your private room, yeah. Because yeah. I'm in the public and everyone films me and this and that. I've got billions of 
views, millions of followers, TikTok famous. I'm now number um, number nine in the leaderboard. I'm trying to get to America. I'm an artist. I'm Chelsea the Art. I mean, her marketing is on point, to be fair, but not much else is. And this is exactly where the point that she is worse than Alphabet stems from. This situation is literally a comedy sketch. Like, I could not believe that this was real. Mid-conversation, just going on tangents, kind of like flexing your TikTok views. The person she's talking to 100% doesn't even know what TikTok Live is. To be honest, I'm kind of jealous because I do feel cursed that I know about this side of TikTok. If you're watching this video, you probably feel the same way. But at this point, cursed with this knowledge, all we can really do is press on because surely, surely there must be an end to this. No, 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 you're getting filmed now. Thank you, look at this. What did, what have I done? You know what she said to me? You're filming. Yeah, if she really did say that to you, then there is no excuse for that at all. If she stated the simple fact that you were filming because you were, well, then she should be fired on the spot. I really do try to play devil's advocate in situations like this. Sometimes just for the fun of it, to be honest. But here, I have nothing. Like, this situation and her behaviour is irredeemable. And I think she might have even realised this herself because she quickly, like, teleported to space or something. Madam, I'm going. Hey, you can go. We're not but then it carried on, and she said maybe the stupidest thing she said so far. We're asking you not to do it when you're in the department. Which I think is so fair. if someone comes and attack me, where's the evidence? You don't need to be on TikTok 24 hours a day. Darling, for my seat, it's my job. I make money, darling. I mean, it is genuinely absurd at this point. I don't even know what to say. Just look at this through the lens of if you were in that room. Imagine you were working a shift as a nurse. You're like 10 hours in and you have to deal with this. Ever since I framed it as if I was in the room, because looking at this stuff online, you can become desensitized to it. But imagine you witness something like this in person. You would be absolutely shocked. And I think maybe for the good of absolutely everybody everywhere, TikTok, maybe you should like do something. I'm fine either way, to be honest. It gives me video topics. But give them a slap on the wrist, you know. It might incentivize them to stop this behavior. Because when it spills over and has palpable effects on the public, well, that's when it might have gone a little bit too far. You know how much money I make? £40,000 a week. I work for TikTok. I'm going to America. I'm an artist, darling. And I'm a millionaire. So excuse me. I work for TikTok. I'm so famous, I can't even walk the street, darling. Well, with uh, nothing else, she is humble. I mean, it's a joke, but we know it's a joke at this point. She actually did make a response, and somehow it got worse again. As I said, it's a fundamental rule of TikTokers. It will continue to get worse until it can't get worse anymore. And I think, honestly, we are approaching the point where it can't get worse anymore. Because I've, uh, you know, and the thing is, yeah, when, when I was asking them, yeah, so I was sat there, yeah, right? And yeah, that about sums up the video. There's a lot of words, but there is no coherent point. Basically, she's angry that she couldn't film TikTok lives in a hospital. And I mean, I stand with you, CLA. You should be able to film your TikToks in an A&E department. Somebody in critical condition could be wheeled through, but you know what? Who cares? The world needs to see TikTok lives above all else. I'm obviously joking, but this is genuinely her perspective. And then her response did reach a crescendo. And to be honest, I think this does cement her as worse than Alpha Bar. Now, no one cares about the NHS. I don't care about the NHS, man. I hope it all goes private, sweetheart. I, I don't like these people, man. So CLA's genuine opinion is that the NHS should be privatised. If you don't know what that means, in principle, it's basically putting healthcare behind a paywall. For all the American viewers, in the UK, we do have the privilege of free healthcare. And in the last decade, we have seen, like, authority try to push this towards privatisation. And CLA, who I'm sure herself has benefited massively from healthcare being free. I'm going to speculate here, but before TikTok, I'm not sure she could have afforded ordered privatised healthcare, but purely on the basis she can't record her TikTok lives in a hospital waiting room. She wants to dismantle the healthcare system to the detriment of millions. I think this might be why democracy truly isn't a meritocracy, because CLA would be willing to shoot half the country in the foot, purely on the basis that one nurse said she couldn't film TikTok lives in a waiting room. You kind of just have to laugh, because that's how absurd it really is. And by this point in the video, I think it might be confirmed. I think Elphaba might not 
be as bad as CLA. But yeah, I would be very interested to hear your thoughts on this. My comment section is teaching me a lot at the moment. Under my last video, a lot of you said you were from America. And I mean, I was shocked to hear that, but I think it might be good news. Hopefully all goes well. You're gonna be able to take one of these off our hands, at least for a little bit. I mean, by the time this is uploaded, the TikTok battles might be over. But yeah, regardless of your opinion, if you're gonna take one thing away from this video, at least let it be that CLA is absolutely delusional. I'm in, the, I'm in the public eye, yeah? I've got nurses that love me. I've got nurses that don't like me. I'm the famous one, sweetheart. You know me, I don't know you. So just to the fact that you don't like me, don't act, you have to have a attitude with me, sweetheart. You are absolutely delusional. But yeah, it's finally getting to the point where the wider UK TikTok community is kind of turning on her. Hello, everybody. I wasn't going to say anything, but I just, just, I just cannot believe the way Chelsea the Art spoke to them hospital staff. Well, I don't really expect anything to happen. It would be nice if maybe she was banned for a couple weeks. Give me a bit of a lag period and then I can make another video then. But yeah, man, of that said, I think we've been for enough CLA for today. My brain has absolutely melted after watching all that. To be honest, I might have to go do another Elphaba video to take the edge off. So subscribe for that, you know, leave a like and a comment. I would appreciate it. I am a small channel. But yeah, with that said, I am gonna go like bleach my eyes or something. I'll catch you in the next one.